Today we're cooking again, and I'm about to do something really special. <laughs> Today, um, I want to show you a vegan dal version, which I really, really love. It's a little bit different than the usual ones you see, because I like to do my own thing. You know, I like to add a little bit of like more spices and cinnamon and plantain and sweet and sour, and of course, it's gonna be a lot of dates in there. So. Yeah, let's start. I'll show you how I cook my kind of dal. Many people use the regular lentils, green or red or yellow, but I like the split peas because they kind of remind me more of a little bit of more of the chickpea, um, garbanzo beans. They have a lot of proteins and other nutritions which are really good for you and um, let's start cooking. <laughs> Okay, so first thing what we have to do is cooking the peas. I already sprouted them overnight. You don't have to do it, but I really like to sprout any kind of uh, nuts or like um, peas or anything what I have because it is it is way better and healthier for you. You take out of the, the bad stuff, the toxins and the amount of what you have of the fiber after that is like double up so um, yeah that's why I always sprout them and how you sprout peas is always put them in a, in a bowl like that with water cover it and after 12 hours you just really win, rinse it off very well and then you cook it that's how you sprout basically anything so starting off I'm going to cook two cups of the peas and I already pre-cooked, boiled the water and you just put them, cover it a little bit more. There's not really a measurement I use here, but as you can see, it's like basically covered and then you just start cooking. So I already caught a, a few pieces of the butternut squash and these I'm just going to put in a little pot and cook those as well. The lid on, and while I do that, you can already start preparing the other stuff. For that, you need an onion. You can, of course, slice it however you want, but I love to slice it very, very thin. So now that I cut the onions, I'm going to turn on the stove. It's getting hot in here, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I am gonna use coconut oil since I'm doing a like a curry. And make sure you like separate the, the onions when you put them in with your fingers because they tend to stick to each other. And I'm already crying. Always happening. So I love onions so much. <laughs> so now that they're already already starting to fry, I add a little bit of water. This is how your own onion should look like after you redid that with the water. Like I. I let it like evaporate a little bit and I kept pouring a little bit of water in it. Like I did it for a couple times and after like three times and you know cooking it, it kind of looks like that. Um, so they like kind of look like caramelized, you know. While this is cooking guys, I'm going to cut my plantain. Um, this one is pretty mature so I'm not going to cook it, I'm going to just fry it in there. So usually when they're green, it's really hard to peel them off. But since this one is pretty mature, it's easier, way easier. I'm just gonna slice them. This one looks like a sad face. It does, it does. <laughs> no, don't cook me! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more, like more coconut oil than before because we want to fry the plantain. While we do this, I already checked on the squash and it's done. It's actually a little bit too soft, but that's fine because this is going to be uh, a really yummy, it's just becoming like a mashy consistency. So I'm putting that through its strainer. I'm going to put two garlic cloves in it and Now I'm going to fry the garlic. Put it right in here. Just make sure you don't burn it. Nothing worse than burned garlic. I mean the taste. Mix everything well together. Ooh. Remember the squash. Now it's time to put them in here. Kind of like, you know, stamp it or mash it with the um, with this with the wooden spoon because I like it when you have like to half of the pieces and like a like a mixed texture consistency, you know, like a little bit of a mashed potato style, but still have left a few of the pieces in here. So you want to make sure that you don't over um, mash it, you know starting to spice everything. We need curry. If you don't have curry, you can't make the dal. So you have curry? <laughs> okay, so put a lot of curry in there. Like, I would just really like exaggerate. Even though with this one, there you go. Yeah, that's fine. Then, next step, add a little bit of cinnamon. I know doesn't really like nobody would think of that but I do it I like it I also add a little bit of cardamom then I add the yellow curry paste you don't need to do that because you already have a lot of curry but you know just a tiny bit then I add one of my favorite spices and the most healthiest spice one of the most healthiest spices on the planet Turmeric. Also not that much. And oh, what do I need? Okay, salt. That's a little bit too much, but really like this. And then we need coconut milk. So I only had coconut milk fat reduced at home, but this is not a crime. Um, usually I would use full fat cream. Beloved dates in here. It's already sweet and you don't really need it, but it's kind of a, like my signature and I, you know, wanna wanna taste them. They're really good for you, a good source of fiber and so many other things. And then you know, sometimes when you chew and you like find a little piece of date in there, it just makes you happy. It's like it's a little something, you know, that extra. Just add them in there. While the peas are still cooking, I need to do something <laughs> and I just decided to do a vegan uh, cream topping, kind of like a yogurt, you know. So for that we need, again, garlic cloves to cut it really, really, really in like super tiny, super tiny pieces. Make sure you don't cut your fingers off too. And I add one or two teaspoons of vegan cream cheese. This is my favorite. And 
great. <laughs> well, you just put the whole thing in here and, um, <laughs> and <laughs> yourself too. Okay. No. Okay. Then you're going to add some water and whiskey. So put that in the fridge. And then mix everything well together. Actually, add a little bit of water. <laughs> <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> so let me add a little bit of water. Okay, guys, I just checked it. But it's really yummy. It's ready to be served. Cameraman is starving too, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna garnish it with a little bit of coriander and then hold on. I'm gonna top it with that amazing vegan yogurt. Now, my doll. <laughs> okay, 